Well, about two years ago, we started the Take Back the Wall program where we tried, tried to find people that let us remove their graffiti. Since then, the city of Amarillo has removed graffiti from hundreds of structures thanks to the help of volunteers and city workers. And they're not taking the offense lightly. We are serious about this. We look on graffiti as destruction of property. It costs uh, homeowners or business owners thousands of dollars. Graffiti is a crime because it's a destruction to property. A lot of people use that term graffiti and they're thinking that it's some sort of art or some sort of urban statement, but really it's just defacing other people's properties. Authorities say the sooner home and business owners report the crime, the better it is for the city. If we get it off within 24 or 48 hours tops, that it generally after the second time it doesn't come back. The best way to discourage a repeat of the offense is to let these people know that you're not going to allow them to use your property as a canvas for their damage. And it encourages more types of crime. It encourages not only more graffiti, but all the other street crime. That there's sort of a perception that goes on. Texas state law requires the city to remove graffiti at no additional cost to residents. City officials are hoping this will encourage Amarillo residents to help take the nuisance off the streets. There's a lot more graffiti out there. We know it isn't all gone, and so we'd like help finding more places to take back the wall and get rid of this graffiti and keep it cleaned up. Andrea Flores, Pro News 7.